Who are you? Episode 15 Yes, good morning. Something happened. Did something have to happen? I'm just calling you to say, good morning. Good morning, Special Agent Morgan. May I continue getting ready? You may, but hurry up. Why? I'm not being late. By the way, I can have some coffee. You'll do without coffee. Don't get cocky. Agent Morgan, morning coffee is sacred. Exactly. That's why you will hurry. Come to the hotel to pick me up, and we'll have it together. Like I have nothing better to do. See you at the directorate. Got it? I'll be there in 40 minutes. Will we get there in 15 minutes? We will. Another boss dropped in on me. Pick me up, drive me back. And they say there's no male chauvinism in the States. Simpletons. Oh. Looks like the guy really tried to create a new appearance for him. No, he would have spent a lot of money. Serious plastic surgery, a complete package of documents, huge financial transfers, complete secrecy, and so on and so forth. Too bad. His assets are totally fine. Maleshko Sr. had serious money on his offshore accounts. As you see, we're working. Maleshko is guilty of federal crimes. He did three murders stateside the parents and the John Doe that he left behind of himself. We will find him. It's a question of time. By the way, about the time. I think you need to get back to the USA before we find him or determine his new identity. It's out of the question. It's out of the question, Dan. Maleshko is going to finish his job here. One way or another. That's right. One way or another. This option doesn't suit us. We'll finish this game on our own terms. And the states are better suited for this. And if you want to catch him, how do you say it here? With live bait. With live bait. Then do it there. Let's be objective. The bureau is a much better racket than the local police. You came here as a private person, didn't you? Not as a part of an investigation, right? Why did you come then? Not to play bodyguard. I understand everything. You came here. To make me get back to the States. I'm worried about you. I came to make sure that you were fine. And I'm fine. Be sure, Inga, you'll leave this place. With me. Have a great day, Inga. Somebody's waiting for you. Thanks. Have a nice day. Hello? Hello. You see, you shouldn't have been in a hurry. We'll have time for everything. Why stage this circus then? Pick me up, we'll have coffee. We could have met at the directorate. Why, Stifi? To have our morning coffee without your grumpy colleagues? They are not grumpy. They are good people. Yeah, I've noticed that. I was thinking of what will happen first. Will they make a hole in me with their gazes? Or will your boss do it with his piece? Let's go already. I'm so glad for you, Inga. Oh, Lord. 
You go, girl. You found such a guy? Polite and well-mannered. And he looks pleasant. Is he a foreigner or something? Tell me as a woman, Motia. What do you want in your life? What do you want to have? I'm just interested. How could I leave my beloved girlfriend in trouble? I took the first flight from Richmond to get to you. You're under my protection now, lady. Will you introduce us? Guys, please meet Morgan. Dan Morgan, special agent of the FBI. And the instructor of the academy, my good friend. This is Miss Jenko. This is Captain. I know who he is. The head of the Grave Crimes Unit, Major Miss Jenko. Captain Spock. Senior Lieutenant Terran. And one of the team's members is missing, right? Um, Captain Terran I mean Stepanik. Is it how you call him? I see you came well prepared, Mr. Special Agent. Just Agent, or just Morgan, I won't object. Of course, I know who Steffi's working with. It's against my rules to leave my beloved girl without any supervision. Listen, you're overdoing it. Our relationship is not a military secret. Besides, I'm sure that your higher UPS also made inquiries about their new employee. Am I right, Mr. Major? Of course. I can't hire a person I know nothing about. Did you come here for long? We'll decide. Tell me about it. Let's go. Go, just go. Oleg, I beg your pardon. Shall we have dinner? Just don't take me to a tourist dive. Something intimate and tasty. Okay. Shtifi, what kind of a dumb nickname is it? What was that? It's all right. Spider will check that slick out tomorrow. Let me repeat myself if you didn't get me yesterday. I am not back to the States now, and yes, I don't agree that I'll be safer there. These are your emotions talking, and I want you to switch your head on. According to your logic, it's easier to catch Maleshko here. Thanks. Because he's more active here. Thanks. Coffee, please. One moment. But think, how do we know about it? You got it, yeah? I can see it. We know about his heroic deeds here from him and him alone. And frankly speaking, Maleshko keeps quiet about his stateside adventures. However, it doesn't mean that he is less active there. Really, if you go to the States now, he will follow you. He went too far to stop now. But in the States, we'll have a lot more resources to catch him. Dan, you won't change my mind. I told you everything. The story started here 20 years ago, and it needs to end here too. Maybe I'll have more luck with your uncle. If you have troubles with a self-preservation instinct, then he, while not having his own kids, has no problems with the basic parental instinct. I beg your pardon. Hello? Good morning, Inga. I want to remind you that the workday at the Directorate General of the Police starts at 9 a.m. Regardless of where and how the employees spent their evening. Major, sir, good morning. Um, excuse me. One second. The clock shows 8.53. I'll be there in five minutes. Copy that. The question is off then. I'm sorry, Oleg, are you outside now? The noise is very familiar. I just didn't see your car at the parking lot and thought that something has happened to you. I'm fine, thanks. I'm having coffee with Morgan. We're having breakfast. We'll be there soon. Fine, I got it. We're waiting. She is having breakfast. 
with Agent Morgan. Why did I call her such a retard? Why did he call? Stiffy, you're something. What? Genius insights at work while being completely blind in your personal life. Do I need to consider this as a compliment or an insult? I don't know yet. Explain it, then. That's unlikely. It's not in my best interests. Oh. Come here. Come here. Don't be afraid. This is Pasha. This is Pasha. You scared my dog. Let her get used to that. Salute, Herr Major. Hello. Well, look. A task bright and early in the morning. Yesterday, we received new information from the us about Maleshko, aka Yan. I see. He nicely staged his death back in 11. However, he started with another thing. He began with his brother and then he whacked his parents. Later, he withdrew a huge amount of money from his old man's account. Find out how, how much, why, and what for. Does it mean that he committed his first murder when he was 13? Looks like it. Damn, what a creep. Are you talking about Yen? Yup, yes. You're wrong here. Judging from Inga's words, his brother that he pushed from the stairs wasn't his first. It was Inga's friend, the swimmer that he drowned. He killed him a month before his brother. But yes, that bastard grew up early. Listen, Misha, did you talk to Andy Klava's neighbors? Maybe they noticed something, or saw a stranger with her. Listen, is there a competition for the most beautiful couple among the employees of police? Somebody for the ad, like, join our ranks. I don't know the guy, but I'd vote for him. Herr Major, is that... Yeah, agent called in. Morgan. Good morning. 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 Have you come to us for long? FBI Special Agent Dan Morgan? We didn't expect to see you here. Nice to meet you in person, Spider. Hacking the server of the National Bank at 17 is really impressive. Police did a wise thing by letting a hacker of such level become their consultant. We do the same at the Bureau. I get it that you called for reinforcement from the FBI, Inga. Oh, like that? How about now? Okay. You're good, Yan. Even though you're a damn psycho. Okay, let's try this. Son of a bitch. Okay, okay. You want to compete with me? Don't you? How about this? Was he discharged? He has to come in today. Have a seat over here. Fine. We'll work something out. We'll be there in two hours. Salute. I'm at your workplace at last, Stiefi. It's not your style, of course. But you're right. How do you say it? Why make a nest in a place where you have no plans of staying? Don't project your experience on me, Dan. I'm fine with everything here. You didn't expect me to put frills on the curtains, did you? If I saw frills here, I'd definitely think that you were replaced. All in all, everything's fine, my shtifi. Dan. Sorry for interfering with your work, Major, sir. We'll try to keep quiet. When will you remember this address? Look over here. What damn colleagues, you didn't see their tender meeting yesterday. 
Colleagues, if you'll be meeting colleagues like that, you may have kids afterwards. L. Lieutenant, confirm it. What? Are you gossiping about Inga and Morgan? Yeah, they did meet like. Good friends. Good friends. You're a master of mild wording. Do you French kiss all your friends? There. I feel we'll have fun times in our unit soon. Hey, come on, Sergi. Cool down. Inga is not the one to wag her tail in front of everybody. If that Morgan is her boyfriend, she'll tell Major about that sincerely. Although, they look great together. Nothing to hide here. They are a beautiful couple. Why are you running like cockroaches? Well, if you finish discussing Miss Stefan's private life, I suggest we work for a bit. Senior Lieutenant, you need to store paperwork like that. Misha, go to the hospital. The sport club's guard is in there. Let him describe the subject and take the artist with you. Maybe he'll get something out of him. By the way, you didn't answer me whether Andy Klava's neighbors had seen anything. They saw a courier. He brought the chocolates. I checked. It's a dead end. The chocolates were brought to the delivery service by a boy that was around 16. He named Klava's address and paid with cash. They can't describe him. Of course. Okay, keep working. Yeah. Our major is definitely down. As if you wouldn't be down. The man was living the good life, and then there you go. A mix of James Bond and George Bush Jr. rolled into one. And you too. A beautiful couple. Yeah. Major, are on a walk somewhere. What do you mean on a walk? Nobody is picking up at your office. Maybe Inga went out too. Or maybe she's just busy. Svetlina, what do you want? Oleg, the general wants to talk to Special Agent Morgan. I get that he's in your office now. Tell him that he's expected. I got it, Svetlina. If Agent Morgan is still at my place, I'll tell him that. Perhaps he's not in your place, but at Inga's. But in your office. Fine, I'll tell him. No, a bit like that. Or like that. It's not bad either, but... My friends, I'm very sorry to disturb you. But Dan, the general is waiting for you. What do you mean, waiting? I warned you that I wanted to talk to your uncle. And you know that I always do what I promise. Dan, I beg you. Yeah. I'll walk you there. No, I will. I am going to Pavlik anyway. You're not against it. Not at all. Stay seated. Please. After you. No. Stop right there, you incredible. Why are you talking in rhymes? Did you take too many pills? Relax, genius, you're not my type. Have you seen that FBI agent? Well, well, come on, talk to me. Just don't tell me that you haven't checked him already. What should I tell you? Dan Morgan, 34, martial arts instructor at the FBI Academy. That track record, awards, merits. All in all, he is a cool dude. Very cool dude. What's between him and Inga? They were dating when she studied there. At that academy. Then, she moved here. That was it. Why are you looking at me like that? 
How do I know what's between them now? I sent all info on Morgan to Major as soon as Inga came to work here. Wait, wait, wait. Do you want to say that Major knew about that Morgan from the very beginning? This is what I'm talking about. Can you imagine, Cap? Morgan knows everything about my heroics. I mean as a hacker. He is an unbelievably cool guy. He's from the FBI but he respects Spider. The FBI. Just think about it. You need to carry me in your arms. Fine. Why use the silly pseudonym if you've decided to sign your name? Why not Damon, for example? Or what is your name now? Because for you, I am Yan. And you're an eye for me. Ying and Yang. As one, you remember. Yes, of course. One can't exist without the other. Not a very good concept in my opinion. But let's get down to business. Yes, you're right. Let's get to it. I want to ask for your advice. Wow. Are you asking for my advice? Why all of a sudden? Before, you used to make all decisions without me, and now, did you get interested in what I think about all of this? It's time to work on your knights, princess, because there are too many of them now. And they are starting to get in our way. Check the email. Did you have a look? Great. What about making Captain Spack the first to get out of the game? He is neither very valuable nor very pleasant. The Department of Internal Affairs will work on his case and will clean up your social circle a bit. You know, I'm not against it. You offered a decent option. No, I do feel sorry for Spack as a person. But on the other hand, he couldn't even protect me from Ilian. I had to sort everything out myself, and sit there with a gun aimed at me until the police arrived. Are you playing the reverse psychology? Not bad. You're allegedly not against it. And that's why I won't touch that lousy cop. But you forgot that I studied the same techniques, some of them at your lectures. Well, there are many options. Do you know that Captain Tarantiv's daughter doesn't study in city's best school? Petty dealers are constantly loitering there, and the girl could have gotten addicted after what she'd been through. Don't interfere. Do you hear me? This is our game. Got it? You involve them yourself, princess. The more you tell them, the more actively they participate. Well, I've heard your opinion. Wait, what are you going to do? You have a lot of interesting subjects around you. Real heroes. I even admire some of them. Partially, of course. I'll tell you about my choice, my target soon. Don't worry. Wait. Who is that target? Tell me. Please. Tifi, incoming call, your ex. My present. Why did you come here at all? Isn't that obvious? Oh, Herr Major, how convenient. Cool jacket. It's about Melishko's money. In a nutshell, the money was transferred to an offshore account, then invested into a hedge fund that went bankrupt soon after. That's it. Bankrupt. Money is gone. A dead end. Yeah. I don't think that it's that simple. It looks more like a long con than a dead end. 
but there is no time to explain now. The general is waiting, later. Yeah, Inga's got good taste. The FBI. This is such a high level. Unlike. Okay, fine. I'll go work on Grandma Clava's sweets. I have to do a lot of work. Go. General, sir, a special agent of the FBI, Dan Morgan, is here to see you. Invite him in, Svitlana. Come in, please. Very nice to meet you. Special Agent Morgan. I heard a lot of good things about you from your higher UPS. The director highly values the employees of the academy. He does the same with the graduates. Let's finish with niceties at this high point and get down to business. I agree, Major General, sir. This is how the situation looks right now from my point of view. Isn't Morgan with you? Morgan? With me? It's none of my business. He's at Strizix. Do you miss him already? No, everything's fine. I'm good. Did something happen? Everything's fine. Hi. Everything stays on the table. Who is it? Where is he? Got it. How was your talk, Special Agent Morgan? It was fine. Please tell Miss Stefan that I have to leave. I'll call her later. Stefan, Stefan. Am I her secretary now? City Clinic. Yes, Misha. Hello, Oleg. Well, I talked to that guard. And? A guy aged 30, 35. Tall and thin. Regular build, well-dressed. He noticed the watch when the guy hit him. Did you take the artist with you? I did. And? If we look for him using the portrait, then every second man of his age will be a suspect. Or every fourth one, if we exclude fatsos, short ones, and hobos. Well, I got it. Okay, later. Go back to the firm. Listen, Oleg. I'll come back a bit later. Marina called me. Lara has problems at school. I'm nearby. Can I go there? Lara? Okay, go. Great. Did something happen to Lara? Nothing, something at school. He doesn't know yet. Reception. Ask if Morgan's still there. Yes, Spitlina. Fine, on my way. Bye. I asked you to ask whether Morgan was still there or not. I didn't hear that. I have bad ears. Please find out. I'm telling you, I'll call later. That's it. I wanted to discuss one topic with you. Agent Morgan came up with an interesting idea. I need to hear your opinion. Andre, Pasha found something about the sweets that were used to poison the neighbor. Go, go. It can wait. The topic is under investigation, so it's not very urgent. Great. Pasha, what do you want? I was at the general's. 
Oh, I've traced your chocolates. And, here, the sweets turned out to be not so simple. They are golden. Exclusive. How do you say that? Very expensive. It means they are sold only by five shops of our city. This particular batch got only to three of them. Anything about the buyer? Nothing much. In the first shop, the terminal stopped working at the time we're interested in. In the second one, those Luddites don't accept cards. Can you imagine? Such a fancy shop, but they only accept cash. In the third, I didn't find a single suspicious transaction. Give me the printouts of all transactions. That's all right, right? Thanks, Pasha. Anytime. Sure. Brass. Yes, I'm here. To the right from the entrance. Wait. You're spoiling me with your attention today, Damon. You're always the center of my attention, princess. But I called you now because I promised. You promise a lot. What now? You know what I mean. I promised to inform you about my decision. Well, I made my choice. The target is chosen. It's gonna be the one who irritates me the most. Don't get upset, princess. Listen, let's keep it between us. I won't tell them anything else. It's too late, princess. Maybe next time if you behave. Say hello to Special Agent Morgan. Did I say something wrong? Well, what's up? How's Lara? Did you go to her school? I did. She almost got into a fight with her friend, and they won't tell why. Stephanie, you're like a small child. Why make girls usually fight? They couldn't share a boy. Fine, I'll talk to her later. What is it? I'm interested. Did you see the general? Is Morgan still there? How do I know? I'm not his nanny. He may get offended if we babysit him too much. What's going on? Shtifi, incoming call. Uh. So, what just happened? What happened to Morgan? I am asking you, what happened? It's a good question. Let me go. When did that Morgan go outside? Morgan?
Let's go. Do you know where? To the hotel at first. Driver of a motorcycle at K3616, stopped by the side of the road. Driver of a motorcycle at K3616, stop immediately. Step aside from the bike fast. Guys, what's wrong? Is it some kind of joke? I wasn't even speeding. Is the Major joking with me? Where is he? Hands. Major, it's just like in a movie. Cool. Well done. Cool actors. Very good. Hold hands so that I could see them. Everything is fine. My hands are here. Everything is alright. And now I have to show you my documents, right? Here are my doku. Hold the hands so that I could see them. I just wanted to show you my papers. Here they are. Oh, it hurts. What are you doing? Are you out of your mind? Guys, I'm one of you. Look at my papers. Look in my inside pocket. Be careful. Officer, look, I have the papers. I'm one of you. Dan. Is everything all right? What happened, Stiefi? I have a hundred missed calls from you. Are you okay? I was worried for you. Dan, why weren't you picking up? Are you a baby or something? I was at the meeting. I couldn't talk. Explain it to her now. And I didn't expect that from you at all. Inga, you could have explained it right away to at least one of us. Then, you wouldn't have to shiver over that phone. I wasn't shivering over my phone. Look, your boss is right. Well, you've hit it off, didn't you? You two are against me now, right? Where did this come from? Stiefi, looks like you're basically a consolidating factor for me and Major. Okay, that's it. Let's stop the debrief for today. It's clear that the bastard will try to kill us. Who is going to be the first? The most irritating thing is that it could be anyone from Inga's closest circle. Enough. I am here too. Don't talk about me in the third person, please. I'm not embarrassed. Are you? Come here. The tomatoes are. I am listening. Who am I talking to? Who am I talking to? Who are you calling, mister? Don't hang up. He will confirm it. Herr Major, this is Spider. Tell them that it's you. Yes, this is me, Major Mischenko, head of the Grave Crimes Unit. Who am I talking to? Officer on duty of the Abdesnyansky District's Precinct. Lieutenant Kvilyuk, Major, sir, do you have a Pavel Yeramenko working for you? Yes, he works with us. What happened? He was arrested for hijacking a vehicle and inflicting bodily harm to its owner. There was an APB out. That's bullshit. It's impossible. I'm on my way. Later. Looks like we found out who is the most irritating. Let's go. And some red cayenne pepper. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for the interesting conversation, Clavdia. It was very interesting, and I received a lot of useful information. You gave a good day, honey, and be vigilant. Sure. Have a nice day. Inga. Inga. Don't lose him. He is such a great guy. And he loves you so much. You're very lucky. Am I? Yeah. Thanks for the advice. I'll keep that in mind. Your boss who brought you here yesterday, you don't need him. I lived for a long time. I saw a lot. 
so I am telling you like it is. Major is not the one for you. And Morgan is the one. You're an ideal couple. Great. Thank you. You didn't have to be so charming with Auntie Clava. What will I do with it? When you leave, she will torture me with her questions. You have a great way out. We leave together and everybody will be happy, including Andy Clava. Don't talk nonsense. What nonsense? Marry me, Inga. Dan, this is just. It's just not the right time. Let's go. Please take my laptop, will you? Sure. Did the Major come in? He went to get Spider out of the slammer. Spider was arrested in his neighborhood for stealing a bike and beating the owner up. And that idiot doesn't carry a passport or a driver's license or any other papers with him, except our ID. The local police decided that he counterfeited that ID. Major was told only in the morning. They'll be back soon. Yeah, thanks, I got it. Well, officers, I believe something is being kept secret from us. We'll ask for explanations when Major comes. I don't want to poke my nose into other people's affairs, Major, but still. Judging from the trick with a false APB, your unit is under fire from someone very serious. Do you know who he is? I do. We're working on it. Good luck, Major. My gut tells me that you'll need it in the nearest future. Oh, it's like that, Herr Major. For all my merits, you left me chilling in the slammer for the entire night. Great. Pasha, why are you so nervous? You know well what are cool. How do you call each other? It guys. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. You're in a serious game, Major. I wouldn't want to be in your shoes.